right, here we are. I don't normally do unboxing videos, but uh, this is pretty exciting because uh, I don't really know what to expect this time. This was a package sent to me from Skywatcher. Uh, the first time they've reached out, a uh, very cool team over there, I met them at Neef, and they wanted me to try something out, so they sent it to my door. And I'm going to open that up right now. Just using my keys. Anyone else do that? Alright, let's see if we got a box inside a box. And we do. That's the thing about uh, telescope and astrophotography gear. It's always well packaged because usually it's quite fragile. Oh boy, look at this. Let's see, this is all new to me. I didn't know uh, I didn't know there'd be a, a carrying case included. So I'll just pull this guy out. Oh, that's a heavy duty case. Big old handles on it. And it's quite heavy for its size. But yeah, look at that packaging. Alright. So this looks like the top. Okay, let's open this guy up. Got a locking case here. Oh, it's gonna go this way. I guess I will swivel it around. Wow, that's interesting. Hey buddy, what is going on here? You know, it's got these little balls in here. That must be some sort of modern packing technique. But Rudy would definitely run off with one of those if it was out, out of the box. Hopefully you can see everything here. You can't blame me for pulling that ball out. It was just it was just asking me to. That is very neat. Okay, on to the contents. Oh boy. Oh, there's some more in here. It definitely is a, it's a new way of packing things carefully. Uh, I'll imagine when there's glass involved. So this is the Skywatcher eSprit 100ED. Oh boy. You can see the uh, the details of it right there. ED100 f5.5, 100 millimeter diameter, 550 millimeter focal length. This, this looks pretty. Oh boy. I don't want to be the guy that drops the telescope in an unboxing video. There it is. Skywatcher eSprit 100ED Super Apo Triplet. Hope I'm saying that right. eSprit? I used to call them eSpirits. But it's not eSprite or there'd be an E at the end. Esprit. Oh boy, you guys are seeing it before I do. Still haven't looked. How pretty is that? Triplet ED Apo. Skywatcher. Beautiful. Alright, so we set that, that down for now. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like a uh, finder scope. Oh, nice to see. I always like when they include a finder scope. You don't have to go searching for one that fits with the uh, compatible bracket. Very nice. My, uh, my first refractor came in a nice case like this with a finder scope. Uh, the Explore Scientific ED80. So here's the little finder scope branded Skywatcher, and it's got a little diagonal on it. That's convenient. I don't, uh, I've never actually had one that comes with a diagonal before, so that's that's convenient. Very cool. The matching white finish. What do we got here? Field corrector. Wow, that's included too. Honestly, did not know that. I'm not playing stupid. So. It looks like a field flat, dedicated field flattener for this scope. There it is there. Very cool, that's convenient. So, you have, usually you have to factor in the price of an external field flattener reducer. And you gotta make sure you get the right one, so uh, it's always nice when it comes with it. 
Very cool. So I'm all ready for astrophotography, and that's, of course, what these triplet apos are known for is for uh, their imaging performance. And I'll, of course, put that to the test in the coming weeks. So it looks like we've got uh, the 48 millimeter adapter for Canon EOS cameras. Very cool. Looks like we've got a diagonal, Skywatcher diagonal. This is, uh, this is quite the complete kit here. Very cool. So I'll, I'll have a look through this scope visually as well. And mounting rings, beautiful. So here's the mounting rings that uh, I'll put on this to, uh, this is actually quite a heavy scope for its size. I'll probably use the CM60 for this one. It's a heavy, it's a heavy telescope. What do we got here? looks like another adapter probably for the, uh, the field flattener and some mounting screws and an allen key so that's obviously for the uh, cradle rings and what is this oh this is the uh, mounting plate I'm gonna need that I believe that's what it is it feels heavy yeah is it green Oh geez, Ash will like that. Look at that. Hey Rudy. Look at this. Rudy, what's this? It's not food. What do you think? Does it smell like it's from somewhere else? Good boy. It's Daddy's new scope. Yeah. Alright, well there you have it. I've made a mess of this neatly organized um, case. But hopefully, had a good look at the uh, the Skywatcher eSpirit 100 ED. Cap, get off there. Gotta be very careful. So this is one heavy uh, refractor. It's uh, obviously due to the three element uh, glass in there. So I've heard that this is a great scope uh, image performance wise for astrophotography. Go figure, right? Uh, Apo triplet. So I'll be using this. In the backyard here for some images I'll take as many as I can to show you the performance uh, quite impressed uh, with Skywatcher for reaching out basically he knows a lot of people watch this channel it's in their best interest for people to see their products so uh, I'm the lucky recipient who decided to start a YouTube channel and uh, lo and behold uh, I'm holding telescopes like this in the garage that were sent from the company